Yo, I welcome you all to this another episode. This is a ledger activity. So we are answering exam questions. So this is another question that I want us to answer together. So if you are new, consider subscribing so that we can see how many questions we are going to devise together. So this is your tutor, Arison J. Zulu. I'm a tutor for mathematics chemistry and physics so if you want tuitions you can text me on whatsapp on my number which is plus two six zero nine seven one zero six six seven four seven in zambia we just say zero nine seven one zero six six seven four seven so the question is saying a radioactive element this is a radioactive element that is given so a radioactive element is an element that undergo radioactivity emits one beta particle followed by two beta particles what is a beta particle this is the first question the first question we are taught to say what is a beta particle so for us to define what a beta particle is one of the things that we need to know and understand is that a beta particle by nature this is an electron a beta particle by nature is an electron so what are we saying a beta particle is a fast moving electron that is what you are supposed to get and understand we move now to the next question the next question is saying write the neutron number and proton number of the remaining nuclide after the two emissions so now they want us to state the new neutron number the other name for neutron number is mass number so make sure you get and understand that so here what we are going to do or what we need to do is that we know that first it is emitting one beta particle so beta particle what are we going to do what are we going to do we say okay it is like this we are given an radioactive element like that that is what 98 proton number and we are given the mass number which is 223 so first it is emitting what it is emitting emitting one beta particle followed by two beta particles so to be very fast you just know that these are beta particles beta particles so what is happening is that it is just emitting three what three beta particles so i'm going to put a beta particle there have you seen this is meaning that it is emitting three beta particles because that is what is happening i'm not told to say show these equations no they just they are just interested in the neutron number and proton number after the two emissions so what i know that when it emits what is gonna be formed here i don't know i put y but what i know is that the mass number remains the same under beta emissions so the mass number will always remain the same two two three but the proton number since it is emitting three meaning that it is going to increase by what it is going to increase by three we know that when a, an element is emitting a beta particle the mass number which is the neutron number remains the same but the proton number which is the atomic number increases by one since here we are saying that it is emitting three of them so meaning it is going to increase by what three so we are going to have one zero one when you say plus three you are going to have one zero one so meaning that to answer our question we are going to say that okay the proton number so i say what is the proton number the proton number is what one zero one how about the neutron number you say okay the neutron number the neutron number is what neutron number is two two three so these are the answers this is what i'm supposed to do these are things i need to get and understand i'm done with that particular question i now move on to this question that is saying a 40 grams radioactive 400 grams radioactive sample has a half life of four years what is half life some questions they will ask you to say define half life you need to know what half life is so half life is the time taken for any radioactive substance 
to decay by half of its present material. You know that this old topic called radioactive, it is just the, uh, when a question was to come, what is radioactivity? You tell them radioactivity is just the spontaneous breakdown of any unstable nuclei emitting alpha and beta particles and gamma rays. This is what you need to know and understand. So the first question here is saying, on a graph paper, plot a graph to show this decay curve after the period of 32 years. You are given how many marks? Five marks just to do that. So what you need to do, you get your wonderful graph. So you get your graph. This is what you need to do. You get your wonderful graph. So let me get my graph, the graph that I'll be using. So I'll be using this. This is a graph that I'll be using. So after a period of what? 32 years. So what I'm going to do is that I put a table of content. Since I'm not given. So I need to show this by putting a table of content. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, okay, this is my table of content. You measure this using your ruler wonderfully. You measure using your ruler like that. This is what you are going to do. So this is what you are going to do. So you know that you are going to say here mass. You say mass. So mass is in what? You can say mass. Mass is in what? You can put mass there. So if you want, you can put years there. There is no problem. As long as the graph is just okay. So mass is in grams. Then time, I'm going to put it there. Time is in what? Time is in years. So you can put time on top, mass down. There is no problem because here you are told to say you need to put, uh, they are saying on this plot, uh, they are saying that on a graph paper plot, a graph to show this decay curve after the period of 32 years. You know that time is always on the x-axis. So you know that this is the x-axis. That is the y-axis. So time, you are going to say that it is zero time there. But the mass, mass is what? 400 grams. So you are just going to put a 400 grams. And you are told that the half-life is what? Four years. The half-life is four years. Meaning every four years, this material will be decaying by half. So after four years, this will decay by half, which is 200. This is what you are going to be doing. After four years, here you are just adding four. After four years, this will decay by what? Half. So, 100. This is just reducing by half by half. What is time is increasing? This is what you need to know. These are some of the things that you need to get and understand. From there now, what are you going to do? Here, plus four, it is 12. You put a 12 there. Then this one becomes 50 there. So, you put a 50 there. This is what you are going to do. Plus 4, it is 16. This is what you are going to do. 16, half of, 20, half of 50, that is 25. Here it is 20. You put a 20 there. Half of 25. So half of 25. What is half of 25? 25 divides 2. What is the answer? The answer is 12.5. Half plus 4, we get 24. This is what you are going to do, 24. Half of that, so it says divide 2, you get 6.25. This is what you are going to do. Then you go to 28. So half of that, divide 2, what is the answer? The answer is 3.125. This is what you are going to do. Then plus 4. You add another 4 there. So we are just adding 4, 4, plus 4. What are you getting? 32. A period of 32 that we've been given. So half of that, we say divide 2. What answer are we getting? We are having 1.5625. So you put that is 25 there. So this is a what? This is the table of content that you are going to use to plot this. So what you need to say, the title of this graph, you are going to say, okay, what is the title? So the title of this, this is what I want you to uh, get. This is what, have you seen here? They are telling you that on a graph, people brought a graph to show this decay curve after a period of what, 32 years. So you can say, okay, decay curve after the period of 32 years, 
you can put that it is as okay or you can make your own title you know that every graph should have a title so you can say okay this is a what this is a decay curve after a period of what 32 years or you can say a decay curve of what a decay curve so i'm going to go with this decay curve of what mass against time after a period of 32 years so i'm going to say decay curve this is my own title so i'm going to say decay curve so you make your own title decay curve of decay curve of mass against so mass against against what against time mass against time so mass against time after a period of 32 years after a period of after a period of 32 years this is my title i can put it as my title like this from there now i put now a scale that i'm going to use the kind of a scale that i'll be using so i know that okay i will say a scale on the x axis how are the numbers moving on the x axis Four, 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 like that. So I'm going to say that this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to say that two centimeters is going to represent four units because it just increasing by four. On the y axis, the target is 400. As long as I'm able to see the 400, everything will just be okay. So I can use a scale of two centimeters to represent what 50 units. I can use that. There is no problem. Which means I'll be moving in 50s, 50s, 50s. Just like that. I'll be moving in 50s. So that I see that 400 on my graph. So what I need to do. Since I want to plot this. So what I need to do is that. I just leave one line here. This is what you are supposed to do. You just leave one line there. So you just leave a line. You just leave one box here. Just leave a box there. So let me do it like this. So that you are able to see. So leaving a line, I mean you leave one box there. Just one box. So this is what you are going to do. This is something that uh, you need to do like this. This is something that uh, you need to do like this. This is what you are going to do. You know that in an exam, you are supposed to use a pencil. So I'm just showing you this, but in an exam... Make sure that you use a pencil. You are supposed to use a pencil. So you do this. This is what you are going to do. Like this. Like this. So hope this is visible. You are able to see. Like this. Even there, you also do the same. Okay. That is what the y-axis. This one down here. This is the x-axis. So then I know that in the x-axis, I've got time which is in what, which is in years, and I'm moving in fours according to this scale that is there. Scale there, two centimeters represent four. So I'm moving in fours. Hope you are able to see this. So I'm saying four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. This is what I'm doing. I move to Y. 50s. So 50, 100, 150. So just move, be moving like that. 200, 250, 300, 350, 400. I do this. So this is a scale that I'm going to use. Have you seen like this? I know that on the y-axis, I'm having mass. So there I put mass. I'm having mass, which is in grams. I need to label my graph. So this is what you're supposed to do. You use the coordinates that are there now, the ones that we came up with. We are going to use those to plot this. So what we are going to do is that the first is 0, 0,400. 0, 0,400. Where is 0, 0,400? 
0, 400, 0, 400. The coordinate is just there. So that's where I'm going to put a catash there. The next one is what? 4, 200. So this is what I'm doing. 4 is here. I go where 200 is. It is there. That is where 200 is. 8, comma, hope you've written that one. If you are following closely, I'm using that. 8, 100, 12, 50. 8, 100, where is 8? 8, 100 is there. 12, 50, it is there. The next one is what? 16, 25, so just half of 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Just there. Then 20, 12, half of that, so just two and half. So I say one, two, half there. 24, 6, half of that, so it's just one and half. This is what I'm doing. Then I go 28, 28, 3, so half of that. So half, I just put it there. 32, 1. Just there, down, down like this. This is what I'm going to do. Then I plot this. I connect these lines. So this is what I'm going to do. So I connect them. So this is what I'm going to do to connect this. This is what I'm going to do. You connect this nicely like this. This is what you are going to do. So you connect them nicely. So like this, nicely. You connect them nicely like that. Have you seen? So this is a what? This is a curve. This is what we are calling a decay curve. Hope you've seen how it is. This is how it is supposed to be. This is how you are supposed to answer even yourself in an exam. Like this, very smooth. Have you seen? So if there was a point that was here, you are not supposed to go there because you need to come up with a smooth curve. So these are some of the things that you are supposed to know. These are some of the things you need to get and understand. I believe you are able to follow through. You are able to get and understand this. So the exercise that I gave you, we are going to revise through it together. We are going to uh, revise through that together. So let us now continue and answer this question. So the next question here, after we've done the graph, this question is saying, what period of time would it take for the sample to reduce to 40 grams so you get your graph there you go where there is 40 you go where there is what where there is 40 so where is 40 you know that from here to there that is 50 meaning that one is five so that you reach up to 50 there so one is five two books it is 10 10 20 30 40 so 40 is there have you seen 40 is there you get your ruler like this, you measure like this, you do this straight, you want to see the time. So straight like that, you do this, this is what you are going to do. Then you measure, you check here where it is landing like this. Have you seen? So it is at what? This. So you now calculate here. Here we've got 10. So the difference is 4. So meaning that to say, this is to say that... What we are going to do for us to come up with accurate measurements, this is what you are going to do. How many boxes are here? We've got 10 boxes and we are, we are saying 4 units. So 4 units over 10, this is what I'm going to do. 4 units over 10, is if, if you punch that on your calculator, 4 divide 10, you are getting 0 0.4. So this is to tell you that one small box is 0 0.4. One small box is 0 0.4. Units of a number of boxes. I know that 2 centimeters is representing 4 units. Under 2 centimeters, I've got 10 small boxes. So this is what I've done. 4 divided 10, 0 0.4. So this is 0 0.8. So 12 plus 0 0.8. The answer is 12.8 12 12 years. So 12.5 years. So this is the answer that I'm going to put. For this to reduce to 40 grams, have you seen? Time is what? Time is 12.8 years. That is the time. 
So that is the time it is going to take. So this is what you are supposed to do. These are some of the things you need to get and understand. Just like this, you are answering the question. We now move on to the last question. So the last question is here saying, state a source of gamma radiations. We've got a lot of sources of gamma radiations. One of them is, is what? Nuclear explosions. So you can put nuclear explosions there. So you can say nuclear explosions. So nuclear explosions. Have you seen? You can put that. This can also be from X-rays machines. You can put that. It can also come from, uh, you can say, this can be nuclear radioactivities. So you can put nuclear, if you don't want that, you can put nuclear reactors. These are the what? These are the sources or source of gamma radiations. We are yet to do this. So tonight, we are going to, those of you under my own lessons, I will be teaching background radiations, what it is, you understand all those things. So you need to know all those things. Make sure that you get them and understand them. Thank you so much. This is where we are going to end from.